All right, guys, we have been on a journey for like four hours to find the ultimate tackle store. And I heard from a little a buddy of mine, watches the channel, his name's Dustin Taylor. He said, man, you gotta check out Mike's Tackle World, Illinois. Bateman Jr. is really wanting to get out of the house. So we had a chance to travel bans have been lifted. And we're here, Mike's Tackle World, Decatur, Illinois. I've already went in there and holy cow. This is going to make someone like Epic Eric, should I say it, moist. Uh, Joanne, uh, who runs this place, she's the owner. She is a sweetheart. And uh, she said, hey, come and film. Let me know your YouTube channel. So me and Bateman Jr. are going in there. It's windy outside and cold. Come check it out. Bate Jr., you ready to roll? Yeah. Ready to go see some baits? Yeah. All right. You tired? No. Did you have a good ride? Yeah. All right, we'll go in there. Uh, let's check out Mike's Tackle World. Holy smoke! Look at all this. Look at all these Strike King crankbaits, Brooks. You see any of those you like? This is absurd. In a good way. This one right here. You like that old one? Let me see that. What is that? That is an old school Strike King Series 4. Discontinued. They don't make that anymore. Yeah. But Let's see what else they got. Mm -hmm. Any colors I don't have? God, all these old. This is. The most impressive wall of strike king baits I have ever seen. What you got there? You like those gold ones, don't you? Mm -hmm. See what else they got. Then you start like buying stuff. Stuff down here. Holy cow, even more. Look at all this lucky craft. Just all I can't even reach half the stuff. Me too. There's a bunch of stuff you're just not going to find everywhere. Floating RC 1.5s. How many guys have heard of that? This is cool. Yeah, I kind of found a rare one here. This is a mini chug bug. And it is the Bateman color. But this is a pre repella bait. Because it says Storm Manufacturing Company, Norman, Oklahoma on the back. I believe I'm going to have to add that to my collection. What do you think about that, Bayman Jr.? You like that one? Yeah? What else we got? I mean, just look at all this top water. This is absolutely insane. This is just basically poppers. Bayman Jr., hold this. Look what he just found. The P70. Now, this is the reproduction model. It's not the old original one. Dude, this thing still slays. Let's see that real good, Brooks. Go up there the camera. See how big that thing is? And we can compare it to, here's the Mag Pop R that's a current production. Put those next to each other so let's see how much bigger that P70 is. Well, your hands are curling, but there you go. P70 is there on the right, the 65s on the left. Good job, Bait Jr. All the new Berkeley top order, just impressive selection. One thing I, I do like that they got, uh, they've got these surge shads. This is kind of a remake of a red fin, a wake bait. It looks frog. Now we're getting to the we're getting to this section right here, and it's just chock full of spinner baits and buzz baits. And I know, Eric, if you're watching this, I'm about to get into your territory. Just look right over here. This is all freaking buzz baits. Lucky strike. When's the last time you seen a lucky strike buzz bait? All these strike kings. The Buzz King, all these booyahs. Go down. This is a this is an old Strike King right here. Look at this package. That's you know that's twenty years old at least. Holy cow! Let me go over here. A dive with spinner bait. Might have to grab one of those. Old Nichols pulsators. Look at all these. The spin dance, the pro glow. This blade here, that's very hard to get. Have you never seen a turtle bait? I have seen a turtle bait. 
Holy cow. I see a Virginia Tech spinner, but too bad there's not a ball. It's not by hand. Look at all these old lunker lures, man. Everyone was always looking for these things. This is crazy. Here's a buzz bait. The Maxi buzz bait from Producto. And you notice it's plastic blades. Don't find them very much anymore at all. Usually those are very quiet and subtle. They catch some big fish. Holy cow, what an owl. I mean, I can't even get, get through all this. Bait Junior is like in heaven right now. Got the whopper ploppers. Got all river to sea stuff, some rovers. Look at all these freaking frogs. That's all your spro frogs. The live target frogs that a lot of guys are always looking for are here. My light's going to get a little low on us, guys, but look at all these scum frogs, man. This is These are the old school scum frogs. There's the white with the pink skirt. The old snag proof frogs, man. This is freaking the deal. Holy cow. I mean, I, I, I don't even know if I want to narrate. Frogzilla. I haven't seen one of those in a long, long time. Well, I hate to tell you, looks like Boyd Duckett is trying to knock off the Bass Risky. It's a damn shame. I can't reach much stuff, but that's a Bose uh, Sumo Frog, and that's actually the original frog that Dean Rojas was using before he signed a deal with Spro. Uh, I'm probably going to snag me one of those. Those are really hard to find. Uh, Pump, Bait Jr.? You like seeing this? It's a plastic. Yeah. That's a cool looking frog. What do you got there? Booyah frog? Mm -hmm. Good frog for the money. Yeah. Hey, what's this down here? The rebel buzzing frog. Let's see that. Oh, look at that old package. That is an old, old guy right there. Can't say I've ever had one of those. And there's a ton of bait in your pile. Some Bagley's. Of course, this is the newer round of Bagley's. They still look good. I ought to give them a try. What do you find down there, Bait Jr.? Uh, cool stuff. All kinds of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like this. What is that? Oh, yeah. Nah. Pass on the pass on the backstabber, bud. Wow. These are hard to find. Excalibur square bills, the real craw color. We might we might have to snag one of them. Look at all of them. There's a bunch of them down here. All kinds of those Excalibur square bills and the real craw colors. Mm-hmm. These aren't the first run of pose because of the package, but you can still find these bad dudes. If you look in the right places. So look at all these rogues. Somewhere in here is some old rogues. I'm gonna to have to pick through this. Uh, I'm definitely gonna find one or two to take home. Some of these are hard colors to get and they're hard to find. Old school bandits. Bandits are getting harder and harder to find, especially the old ones. And this place has got them. So this, that's an old bandit, I can tell by the package. The new packaging uh, usually has a raccoon face on it or whatnot. Uh, the brand new stuff has this style packaging. All these, most of all these flat max and these ultra deep bandit deep divers, they don't make them anymore. That's okay, I don't want everyone to be able to use those. Come on down here. What we got? Yeah. We didn't tell this. Bomber heaven. There's bombers everywhere. Yes. It's a Rapala. Like that one? Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. There's so much stuff back here. The top ones. Look at all these old bombers. Holy cow. Epic Eric. 
we've got to get down here. Have you found one over there, Yeah. This is all the but I don't like it. Okay. But what I do like is right here. Dude, I think we found the mother load over here. Look at all these man's baby one minuses. Holy cow. I like yeah. Each one right There's here. a bunch of them. I like this one. Can't, hey, don't, don't jack the rods up, bud. Look at all these baby one minuses. Oh my goodness. I like this one right here. All the way over here. And I'll tell you what else is here Strike King Diamond Shads. Holy smokes. Yeah. We'll get, get a few now. Now this is a cool lipless crankbait. This is actually a Nichols Rattle Shad. I've never really seen one in person. And they're on sale. That's cool. Definitely they don't make that anymore. Of course we've got the neon spots. My dad used to throw those all the time. Some old super spots up there. Sorry about the lighting. This is just insane. We're just going to follow Bait Jr. around for a little bit. This is just crazy to look at. Now yeah, there's some little bit of jigging spoons. Mm. Show them all these big baits back here, Brooks. Yeah. This is some crazy stuff. Look, look at all this stuff. Obviously, there's some musky fishing that goes around here. And we got a big... A giant tiger tube. I don't... I, I really, oh, yeah. I don't think a fish can put that in its whole entire mouth. I bet a big one can. Dude, Look at all this stuff over here. These are the giants. Yes, they are giants. I think I can turn really old one. Alright, who knew that Pose had a jointed right. whopper plopper style bait? Look at that. I didn't know about that. Uh huh. Now we're in soft plastics. I just got, this perspective should tell you how much loaded this place is. Hey man, Junior's found some swim jig. All this zoom. Look at all the striking down here. Where you, what'd you find? Some swim jigs? Yeah. So there might be a few good ones down in there. Yeah, I remember oh, this. It's an old Stanley? Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Holy smokes, just look at all this. We don't care about strings so much, right? Mm, yeah, I don't need no line. Wow. Line. This is just unbelievable. The size story is how this thing yeah. is packed in. I can't reach half this stuff, by the way. Got all these menace grubs, rage swimmers. Gene LaRue. There's a the Tackle HD Crawl. Some live target. I kind of like those frogs. I've been wanting to kind of try them out. We'll see. What do you think about it, Brooks? Good. Good. Worth the drive, even though you slept half the time? Yes. Here's an interesting bait. That's the Nico Fat from Diablo. I kind of like that deal. They're a little expensive, though. Not just here. They're just expensive. Man, just unreal amount of stuff. Got the missile baits, reaction innovations. I did not see any squeaky dolphins in case anybody wanted to know. I definitely checked for that. Got all the beavers a man could want over here. Yeah. I, I haven't even look at all this net bait. You know, I like me some net bait. Pack of craws, all this old yum stuff, man. Well, you can't even find something that's yum plastics anymore. I guarantee you, if you're looking for a net bait color, they've got it here. Yep, Brooks has found the Zoom. Look at all the power bait, man. It, a lot of places don't carry power bait anymore, which is sad. Around now, look at here 12 inch plum apple, fire and ice. I like it. And Where's old plum? They got plum here. That's blue, black, blue fleck. There's that new bloodline color. That's pretty sick. 
Man, they, I, I'm kind of a fan of power bait. I, I do really well on that stuff. But man, they got a ton a of bait, it. A bait worm in here stinks. The bait room does stink in here. He's almost lost in the baits. What'd you find? I think I got that color, huh? No, I was. Oh, yeah. gotta get that. That color's got some purple in it. Oh, it's yeah. Huckleberry. It's so it's, good. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. He knows. I don't know what's inside of that box, but I'm not opening it. Yeah, don't open it. All right, Bay Junior. We've already been through the store twice. Are you ready to do some shopping? Yes. Yes, we're going to do some shopping. We're going to turn the camera off. And I'm gonna surprise you guys with what I bought after the video, and we're gonna we're gonna get Joanne on camera too. I think she's got a story to tell us. So, all right, see you guys after the shopping. All right, bro, put the bucket up there. Yeah, tell us a little bit about this little hole in the wall. This little hole in the wall started 43 years ago. Because my husband couldn't find fishing tackle to go tournament fishing. And that's how we got started. And then when he opened it up, his tournament fishing went by the back door. Looks like he started collecting quite a bit too. Uh, yes we did. We collected and I still collect. Well, I really appreciate you letting me and Bakeman Jr. walk around and gonna put this on YouTube and uh, it's a it's a hidden gem and if anyone's in the Illinois area they need to come by Mike's Tackle World. It's been an awesome business for 43 years and I have the best customers anybody would love to have. Well, I appreciate it. You ready to go? Yeah. What do I need to do? Like? It's ready to go. Like the video? And subscribe. All right let's go. But you gotta push it hard. All right, I'll get you. There you go. Get some muscle, son. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I probably could have made an hour-long video, but I've got some errands. I got to run back in my house, and we got to break down these baits. If you enjoy stuff like this. Uh, let me know in the comment section. Tell me an OG old school bait you really like. And shout out to Joanne, one of the nicest people I've ever met in this awesome tackle store. Mike's Tackle World, Decatur, Illinois. Come check it out. You're going to see some of these baits on the channel. Thanks, guys. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more baits.